In Grenstead, there is a particular horse published at the catalog, in the catalog, as the best flat horses, best flat horse, uh, who came straight for a national hunt, it's Fame and Glory. Can you explain this expression? Can you explain en quoi Fame and Glory is the meilleur cheval de plat qui sont entrés directement pour faire un étalon d'obstacles ici en Irlande? Well, you know, to win um, Group 1 races at 2, 3, 4 and 5, um, I mean, he's rated, he was rated 133 by time form. And just to put that into perspective, that's only one pound less than Golden Horn. So that caliber of racehorse has never gone straight to National Hunt before. And he couldn't be doing a better job at it. You know, I mean, his, his foals were fantastic. They were so strong. I mean, you know, towards the back end of the year there, they look like yearlings. His yearlings are selling well. He's both commercial. And like, you just, you don't, you don't see horses that caliber come straight here. Alors, au time form, il était, euh, son rating était juste de, de une livre en dessous de Golden Horn. Il s'agit bien sûr de Fame and Glory, gagnant le groupe 1 dès l'âge de 2 ans à Saint-Cloud et jusqu'à 5 ans euh, dans la Gold Cup. Il a aussi gagné à 3 ans l'Irish Derby et à 4 ans la Coronation Tattersall Irish, euh, bah, bref, un groupe 1 en Irlande. Et donc voilà, et donc c'était un véritable champion. Il est entré directement au Hara en Irlande pour faire de l'obstacle. Ici, ce sont deux mondes séparés, le plat et l'obstacle. Néanmoins. Néanmoins, ce jeune étalon, Fame and Glory, a des chevaux qui ont été achetés pour faire du plat. Fame and Glory uh, has some horses on Richard Hannon, he's not turned a jump trainer. Yes, yes. Um, well, with a horse, with his credentials and him being so 